I am working on doing my social media posts today, so I figured I would walk you through the process that I do. So right now you are looking at the inside of Sprout Social. So Sprout Social is the content management tool that I use and analytics tool that I use. So right now we are in the publishing page. If you go over to the sidebar, you will see that there is a multitude of things that I could do. Um, I really love Sprout for their publishing features and for their reporting. So this really quickly, if I show you, there are so many different reports that I can pull with a simple click that allows me to dive into my content. If I go to group, this takes out a lot of the manual process. So if I just let this load, so some content is missing here, but essentially it lets me see from a specific time period. So if I go back December to current day, I can see all of my followers gained, impressions, engagement, link clicks, all of this comparison across platforms saves so much time. And as you can see on the left-hand side, I can go into all my reports. But for today, we're gonna focus on publishing. So you can view content by list view, week view, so you can look back and see what I've posted, and monthly view, which is great. And you can also export all of these. So for right now, I'm gonna compose a post. And I like to start composing my Instagram post first because it's usually the longest copy that I do. And then what's great about Sprout that you'll see is I can duplicate my post um, and reformat it to make it work for other channels. You never wanna post exactly the same thing across all of your channels. So I'm going in, I selected my image, my media content that I want to use. I could also upload a video or multiple for a carousel post if I wanted to. And you'll see over here, this is exactly my preview of my Instagram post, okay? So the second thing I do is I use notes to write out my post copy. Um, and I take this and I will copy it and I use a tool here and I've already, I will recopy this just to show you guys. But this creates the line breaks and the correct formatting that I want for captions. So I'm going to paste this in there. I will convert, hit copy, it is saved. I will go over here and I paste it. And here's my copy. And you'll see over here again, this is exactly how it will show up in my post. So the next thing that I do is adding my hashtags. So you do have the ability here to add it as an Instagram first comment. Um, sometimes I will just do kind of the, the three dots and add them in. I also use my notes to keep track of my hashtags. So I'll have some generic ones. If I'm posting about my content creator program, I have some saved for that and just some common ones that I like to use. So for this instance, I will copy and paste all of the hashtags I'm going to use and paste them right here. So same thing, you'll see they'll come up at the bottom and they're already kind of highlighted to be linked here. Now, I always like to search on Instagram for hashtags that don't have millions and millions of posts already because my content is most likely not going to show up. So what I mean by this is if you're searching hashtag, if I just put hashtag social media, there's 16 million posts. I not likely that I'm going to show up in that. But if I do social media coach, 207 or coaching 13,000. So this is much more likely that I, my content might show up in here. Um, obviously, I work with a lot of nonprofits. So if I just search nonprofit, again, that's 3.8 million posts. If I do nonprofit content, there's only 12. So you can, you can play around in here and see what makes sense for you. Scroll through and see, okay, what might make sense for me? Nonprofit fundraising, 8,000 posts. So your content is most likely going to show up when you're in the few thousands to even low hundreds of thousands. But millions is, millions is a lot. So I have my hashtag, I have my copy. Within my copy, I think it's important to note that I always start with a hook. Something that when somebody's scrolling through, 
Yes, they might see your image and stop on it, but then the caption is really where the engagement takes place. So you want to spend time at the beginning with something that's going to capture someone's attention and then always have a call to action. So immediately I'm saying, send me an emoji below with the topic you're struggling with. So immediately I'm asking for something. And then again, I say, feel free to comment with other ideas as well. Other call to actions can be click the link in bio or send me a DM or comment below. So depending upon what your post is and what you're trying to achieve, you can have a different call to action. So now what I can do is I can either post this immediately or I can schedule a specific day. Another thing that I really like about Sprout Social is, so if I choose my day, and so I want to do it today, it'll give me optimal times based upon when my audience is online. So for today, let me just, I'll choose 11.50, right? And then I could add another date if I wanted to post the same piece of content a month from now, and I can just change the copy. So that's how I set up my post. And then the magical thing is here in this tab. So I could schedule it and then it will close this area um, and just get ready to send it. But the magic is schedule and duplicate. So my Instagram post is done. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna hit this. It's gonna pop up publishing again and you'll notice here's my image, here's my copy but I can select right away a new profile. So if I wanna post this on Facebook, I know that I don't wanna post any of these hashtags on Facebook, right? So I don't wanna have exactly the same post. The other thing about Facebook, for this post in particular, it's not gonna work, but Instagram has a poll function. So for this case, I could decide to use the poll function or I can continue trying to get high engagement in my comments and keep this. So I'm gonna keep this one for the example. Again, I'm gonna go down into my optimal times. And if you noticed, before it was like 11.50, there was different times for different platforms. So these happen to be pretty similar. So I will keep this. So again, I'm gonna hit schedule and duplicate because this post works really well for Instagram too. Oh, but here I noticed there's a separate, I'm gonna make sure I remove that extra space there. Let's see if that'll go away. So I'm gonna hit schedule and duplicate. So now two are done. You notice how fast I'm doing this. Now I'm gonna go into Twitter. So now there is way too, way too much content in here for Twitter. So poll time, you need your help. Um, that's not really gonna work for Twitter. You wanna, so I'm, I'm gonna completely rewrite this. Um, so we're gonna do retweet. see retweet with an emoji that matches the topic you're struggling with and would like to see more content about okay so i'm completely like rewriting this this is way too much copy content strategy follower growth fundraising advertising Okay, now let's see where I net out. And it's giving me right here how much copy space I have left. Here we go. So feel free to reach with other ideas as well. Now, what you want to do with Twitter is you want to see, is there any relevant um, hashtags happening right now? So I'm just going to open up Twitter. And it'd be good if I logged into my account. Okay. So now I'm going to look and see, is there anything trending today? Thursday Thoughts. Thursday Thoughts is pretty much an always trending conversation. So that's really the only one in the top that matches me. I clicked view more. Yeah, that's really the only one that makes sense for me right now. So I'm going to do Thursday Thoughts. And I have a little bit extra, so I'm going to do social media. So retweet with an emoji. I'm just checking myself here. Great. So now you can see here I'll do show more. And you can see again your full, 
your full copy. So use optimal times. So over here, it's really strong for me during the evening time, but I want to match the other one. So I'm going to do 1148. And then here I am pretty much done. So I'm just going to hit schedule. And now you can see here, this is my month view of this content. So I could click in here to see each of them. So here's my post. I could click show more and go into it or my week view. So if I hit scheduled over here, I can now see all the posts that are going up on this day or my list view. So now I can see a much more on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, my posts that are about to go out and they're all customized specifically for that platform. So I love Sprout Social for this tool, um, and that's how I go through and create my individual posts. If you guys have any questions, um, drop a comment, and I will be happy to answer them.